during the time of the buddha people didn't know much about the world now today those who study science physics chemistry biology and things like that they know things like electricity magnetism electromagnetic waves and all kinds of things those days during the time of the buddha people didn't know about these things so the buddha is not able to explain how things happen but today if you study science you begin to understand that everything that is happening in the world is nothing but electric uh, electromagnetic waves and things energy. like that energy. going on huh? energy energy and not only that even our brain is working electrically our body is working electrically so it is very clear that today they have even instruments to detect the mind waves that come out so the point here is that every emotion that we are having is an electrical impulse and it can be detected by instruments so when we have a certain emotion at the moment of death that will be produced outside as a wave and so that emotional excitement is carried in the form of a kind of electromagnetic wave which can be received like radio or even television transmission now when we talk about television we see a picture and that same picture will appear in another television somewhere else how is that did the picture travel in the air like that no what travel was simply there was no real traveling even in a wave there is no real traveling so in this electromagnetic wave carries the thing and then another place that same picture comes up then why does it have to take form if at the moment of death i have an electrical yeah. impulse okay yeah. Yeah. then that impulse moves on but why does it have to take a rebirth why doesn't it just stay as energy no 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 the energy will go but if there is another television only uh, we have must have a television set to receive that so your no this television, television set is father and mother is it huh? this television set is father and mother is it because at the moment ah, of death ah you are talking about the father and mother problem i'll tell yeah. you what that is <laughs> i'm talking about television <laughs> <laughs> no the important thing is this uh, most people they don't know what is really happening the sperm and ovum uniting that is not the moment the rebirth takes place that is very important to understand that the sperm and ovum uniting produces a thing called a zygote that zygote gradually develops into what is called the the fetus and it gradually produces the body and when the body is produced then a nervous system comes up and with the coming of the nervous system a brain comes up it's only at that point only at that point right. the tv is ready to receive <laughs> so nothing to do with father and mother no, ah, no. okay all right that's how it happens okay. thank you thank you thank you